Good afternoon. It is an honor to be with all of you in this great hall to unveil the American Prisoners of War Missing in Action Chair of Honor. This project started when a constituent of mine and former president of the Massachusetts chapter of Rolling Thunder, Joe Dotremont, came to me with the idea of placing a chair on the grounds of the Capitol. And thanks to Rolling Thunder's hard work, similar chairs have been placed all around our Commonwealth and across the United States. So I worked with Congressman Lynch and with Senator Rubio to introduce a bill to establish a POW-MIA Chair of Honor in the U.S. Capitol grounds. And last year, that bill became law. Today, Joe's dream becomes a reality, and the chair is here. So thank you, Joe, and thank you, Massachusetts Rolling Thunder. You all made this happen. I also want to thank Rolling Thunder National, as well as the National League of POW-MIA Families and the National Alliance of Families for the Return of America's Missing Servicemen. Without your hard work and your generous contributions, this chair would not have been possible. Thank you for your tireless advocacy to ensure that we account for and bring home our fallen. I also want to thank the hardworking staff of the architect of the Capitol. They were critical in ensuring that this chair is presented in mint condition and in time for Veterans Day. And I also want to thank Speaker Ryan and his staff for their hard work in coordinating today's special event and my colleagues for being here today. This project was truly a bipartisan effort. So I want to thank Senator Rubio for being our lead co-sponsor on the bill establishing the chair. He and I have worked together in the past on issues affecting our veterans, and I am very grateful for his leadership and for his support. I also especially want to thank Congressman Sam Johnson, who served with distinction in both the Korean and Vietnam Wars and was a POW for nearly seven years. You represent heroism, honor, and duty. Thank you, sir. A special thank you also to Senator McConnell, to Leader Pelosi, uh, to all of those who made this possible today. I'm grateful to you all. All three of my older brothers served in the military, and I remember how my mother used to watch for the mail from one brother in training to be an emergency medic, from another who was stationed in Africa, and from my oldest brother who eventually made it through 288 combat missions in Vietnam. My brothers all made it home safely, and for that, I will be eternally grateful. But many don't make it home, and although they have not returned home to us, they will never be forgotten. This chair is a reminder that no family should have to wonder about the fate of a loved one, and it will serve as a daily reminder of the solemn obligation to make every effort to bring home every one of our service members. As we approach Veterans Day, I offer a personal thank you to the service members and to the veterans who are here today. This nation owes you a true debt of gratitude. For those families with a loved one who has not yet made it home, we owe you a debt we can never repay, and we owe you a promise to make the fullest accounting possible. God bless you, and God bless the United States of America.